Good afternoon. Today we'll be learning how to make a cookie cutter out of a tin can. First step of this is to disassemble a can. I used a can opener to take off the bottom of the can to start off with. So, as you can see, I worked my way around the can, slowly cutting it. I couldn't go it in one motion as the tin opener wouldn't spin. So, I'm working on slowly. Again, this saves you a bit of time in the long run as it leaves a bit of a cleaner edge so it's easier to deal with. If you work your way around, eventually you'll come to a point now you'll see the can lid starts to lift off. You just keep working. And here we go, you'll see it just comes off now. Quite simple, here it comes. As you can see, there it is, gone. So, the following step will be to look for the little line along the can. This is the seam of the can. So, take your scissors and cut along the seam. Starting off at the bottom or top, up to you, but cut halfway. Don't try and cut too far as it becomes quite difficult and it becomes easy to miss the line. Swap it over and continue back from the opposite side. Again, just cut until you're cut, and it should come apart. This should create quite a clean cut. In my case, it left a tiny bit of metal, which I just, you can see, I've pulled off and put aside. So now you want to straighten your can out a bit. By doing this, you just make it a bit easier to work in future. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is find the center of the can now. You're going to use a cookie to do this, preferably a whiteboard cookie as it's easy to clean off and you don't have to worry about it too much. So as you can see, I've started off here by trying to figure out where the dips are, as it can be kind of hard to make these out from the trough. So start off by working your way through by just marking each one and counting. You'll notice here I make one long one. That long one is the center of the can in this case. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make little holes along the can. This is the way I'm going to break this can off. You can use other methods. This, to me, is the easiest way to get a straight line. I just used a knife that I didn't really care about, as it will get blunt. A cutting board to protect the table below, and you just work your way along. As you can see now, with all the little holes, you just got to bend it a couple times for it to start breaking along that seam. So, I just bend it over, being careful not to bend it too much to the point where I damage the can itself. So, you go through again, a bit of a wiggle, and there it comes. So it'll take a bit of time, but you eventually get it. You get better at it as you do it more and more. Almost there, breaking it now. There we go. So the next step will be to look at your edges. See this one here? It's quite a clean edge already, to the point where we don't need to touch it up. This one, however, as you can see, is a bit raised on the one side. So what you're going to want to do is cut along the surface with your pair of scissors, just to make it neater so that when you fold it over, it looks a bit better. So as we cut along here, I'm using the little ridge where it changes in elevation as a way to line my scissors up and follow. So I'm just taking my time as it will save you time in the future with not needing to redo this step. Well, there we go. Now you can see this edge is a lot cleaner and can be used now. Well, so that's pretty much it in preparing your cat. Today we'll be making a circle. So a circle is obviously the simplest shape we can do with a tin can. Now the reason why we did cut it up in the first place is so that we can make a seam on the top that you won't cut yourself on. So I'm just straightening it out a little bit just to make my life a little bit easier with drawing this line. So you'll take your cookie again and you will now draw a line, a rough line, not too much, just in the middle of these two. So this line will indicate the line that you're bending the top of the can so that you have a bit of a, a lip on the top so that you don't cut your hand when you push on it to make the cookies. As you can see, I'm just freehanding it as it doesn't need to be perfect. It is, after all, a DIY cookie cutter. So there we go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fetch my pair of pliers and you're going to start folding it inwards. I recommend folding it inwards personally as it is a bit easier to deal with and personally I think it looks a bit nicer. So you can see I'm working my way along here slowly. Again, take your time. You don't need to rush this. You've got, hopefully, no deadlines approaching. Just working up, you'll notice how the can is actually being kind of straightened by this. This is because we're adding a new fold to it. There we go. So now you'll notice now that I start using the pliers to bend it over a bit further. A little bit later, you'll see I start using my fingers. Because you need to have the can bent over enough so that it's easy to do this step that I'm currently doing where I'm crimping it over completely. Doing it with your fingers will actually save you a bit more time in this step. 
as you can see there, it was quite difficult for me to get it over. Yeah, you'll see I just start pushing it over with my fingers. All I'm doing here is I'm just bending it over a bit further, not necessarily flat, and now I just go back with the pliers afterwards to flatten it all out. Again, do this as much as you want. Yeah, just you can get it to the point where it looks perfect. Again, personally, I don't think you need to go that far. Okay, there we go. So now we've got a nice top on it that you can run your hands on without cutting yourself and push on it. So now what you want to do is you want to join the two sides together again. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to make a clip out of the cap by folding one of the sides inwards and the other side outwards. You'll notice here that I'm just using the pliers again just to fold it over. Just use my fingers once again just to push it even further so that it can hook together nicely. Now, as we said on this side, what we're going to do is we want to fold this side the opposite way so that when they come together, they hook into each other. So here we go, folding it over. This one here is a bit more difficult because you are folding against the lines. And there we go. Okay, now what you're going to want to do is you're going to take this edge and you're going to hook it into the other edge. As seen over here now. There we go. So now what you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to now take the pliers and crimp these two pieces together to the point where they won't come out easily. The step I'm currently doing is kind of redundant. To be honest, you can do this in one step. Right now you'll see I'm going over it and I'm clamping it together. This is the most important part and you want to put quite a bit of force into it. The longer your hand is on your pliers, the easier this will actually be. There we go, nice and compact. So now we have it, a nice little circle cookie cutter with the top having been pushed in or crimped over like it is. You can now put your weight on it and it won't cut you, which is obviously important. Thank you very much for watching this.